In previous inquiries, the media has not been able to get the costs associated with the event from organizers or government officials, and as such there have been speculations. However, according to Labour Senator Raymond Roberts, he has learned that some statutory bodies have invested hundreds of dollars to purchase tickets, a move he vehemently opposes. My greatest concern is really the information I'm gathering from people who are in the nitty-gritty of everything. Uh, for example, I'm told that state bodies, which are really owned by the government, and I'm calling one, for example, Nawasa. They have purchased tickets, VIP tickets, at $400 plus for the directors as a, main, as a means of, you know, service. I, I say to the, 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 the government and whoever uh, came up with that idea, what a ridiculous idea at a time when Grenada, according to the IMF, is really not out of the woods. I mean, $400, you're going to buy tickets for directors, many of whom earn respectable salary, big salaries, who are affluent. And had this $400 been invested in buying tickets for the best athletes from pre-primary and primary schools, or you give it to areas like Montu or uh, Tibae or wherever it is in Guava, you know, I think that would have been more accepted. But to, 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 to give the rich more than really they, they deserve. I think it's a stain on, really, on what Grenada is all about. Roberts believes additionally that the timing of hosting the invitational meet is not right, as there are pertinent issues which need attention, key of which is the payment of pension to public officers. I'm also told by people who are sitting around the table that we pay in one of the organizers 65,000 US. That's the contract for organizing this wonderful games. Yes, it may be deserving, and it may be deserving much more, maybe 100,000. But uh, let me tell you this. As the rep representative for workers, the daily tasks I really face, people who have retired, and there are hundreds of them, they say to me, Ray, I have left the job a year ago, two years ago. I haven't received a pension. I'm in poverty. So the government, to surrogates could find money to create that kind of uh, um, plastic environment that we all are happy by paying out such large sums of money, but we can't find money to pay pensioners. So really and truly, I agree the Prime Minister, if the juice is nice, some of us like it. So let's enjoy the juice. But what a pity. It has the expense of poor people and ordinary people who have worked in the service, who have worked in the country for many a years, and all they are getting are, are just promises, unfulfilled promises. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.